we all want to live in Vancouver because we get that nice balance of having uh, a, a city with a thriving, vibrant economy and all the wonderful things that come with being in a city. But you do get to have these, these moments where right here in the heart of town, you get to have this balance of life. And I think that harmony between nature and a big Canadian city on the Asia Pacific is, is really wonderful. It just, I think it's just a place where uh, two worlds meet and I think that that's what makes Vancouver special. You know, when I hear stories and reports that, you know, 80% of people in the Lower Mainland, in particular in Vancouver, are considering leaving the Lower Mainland or Vancouver, uh, and, and I talk to people all the time, they're talking about actively leaving, and, uh, and, I, and I hear, uh, you know, a UBC study that says that we're unhappy. And it's time to pause and reflect and say, well, we've got two choices. We can stick with the status quo and we can keep doing things the same way and be incremental uh, and, and continue down this path. Or we can really take an enjoyable moment. I think it's really positive. Step back and say yes to one another and say, let's make some fixes happen here. Let's, let's talk about some big ideas and let's get the job done. And uh, let's make this a city that's our city again. It's a wonderful opportunity to reimagine some parts of our city and create new parks. Uh, it's going to require consolidation of land and, and, and reimagining what those neighborhoods look like. But yesterday morning I met with folks from um, the False Creek area that live in the, many of those co-ops and, um, and I, I've got a chance to meet, meet with them many times over the last year. And um, you know, that was once an area where uh, it was really locked in people's minds as to what that area was. And it was quite profound in the 70s when they switched it over. And here we are today, all these years later, and it's been such a wonderful success. So I think if we, if we take the learnings from that model and, and extrapolate that out into some other parts of the city and say, what if we reimagine some places that are really kind of locked in our mind, but um, if we're bold enough and, and if we're willing to be uh, um, willing to have a conversation that we could actually leave something that is very successful and actually people will really benefit from. So.